So the last important piece here is train parameters, which is just going to adjust beta naught and beta one, which is given in this params dictionary. And just to be clear, this doesn't need to be the same name here. Use your parameters, we're gonna feed into this thing. And we're gonna adjust beta, the value here, beta naught and beta one, according to the formula given by our x's and our y's. So again, a little bit irritating the way that we're gonna write this, especially because I could have simplified the math a little bit more. And also in NumPy, it's just a lot easier. But to do this the same kind of way, we'll look at the numerator and the denominator separately. So just looking at the numerator for now, we need it's going to be a sum. And that sum is over, if you can't read it, I'll, I'll really zoom in on it. It's just getting beta 1 for now, because beta naught is easy after that. We can do the sum over xi times yi minus y bar. So we need to have calculated y bar clearly, and that's the, the average of the y's. So to calculate an average, and I will just make a, what we call like a helper function over here. It is the mean, we can do it ourselves, define mean, and it looks like it already recognizes that, but define mean of just a list of stuff. Okay, so a list of numbers, we will call it the x's for now. We could give it, actually that's kind of confusing. So let me just say, say list. Okay, so the mean of a list of numbers, it's quite simply if we get n, it's the number of things that are in there. So n is the length of the list. And then the mean is simply just the sum of the list divided by the, the number of things that are in there. Okay, so we can use this mean function to get that x bar, we'll need both x bar and y bar at some point, x bar is equal to the mean of the x's and y bar is equal to the mean of the y's. Okay, and now we're gonna do a very similar strategy as before of this loop kind of thing, except we're gonna do it slightly different because the math is slightly different. So we'll say numerator, numerator total, so just the basically an accumulation of the numerator. So this is going to be equal to zero at first, and then we'll say for i in range, up until n, we can get the things that we need. We need xi is equal to x's sub i. We need yi, so that's yi is equal to the y's sub i. And we already have y bar. So then we can just say that thing in brackets, which uh, I'll, really, I'll really point at, sorry, I missed it up there. I'll really point at it to be clear is this thing in this thing in brackets right here is the difference between yr and y bar and the difference the the actual uh, sign of the value here whether it's positive or negative this one matters because we're not squaring it at all here this is just what we're doing so here we need yi minus y bar okay minus y bar and that is going to be I'll also denote that as difference i. It's a different kind of difference than before, but it's still the difference here. It's just yi minus y bar. And then we multiply that. So then we'll say multed, it's kind of a stupid word, but multed is equal to xi, xi times that thing, xi times diff i. And that's what we need to sum up for the numerator. So I'll say numerator total plus equals that molted thing. I can actually, I should say molted i, because uh, just to be consistent with everything else. So that's that that whole piece there, and we sum over the, the pieces. So then we have the numerator total. We can easily get the denominator total, which I'll just write denom total is equal to zero. And then here we need, it's just to do with the x's. So it's xi and then xi minus x bar. There's many different ways of writing this. This is just the one that I found. So we can do for i in range of n, we can get xi is equal to x's sub i. And we already have x bar, so that's all that we'd actually need. So then we can do diff i, and again, a different difference, but it's a difference. Diff i is equal to xi minus x bar. And then molted, again, different molted, but still multiplication. Molted i is xi xi times diff i. 
Okay, and that's the thing that we need to sum up. So we'll just do denom total, denom total plus equals, plus equals multiplied i. Okay, and then the the final thing here. So then we'll say just let this be new beta one, new beta one. The the value that we actually want for beta one is equal to the numerator total divided by the denom, denom total. And now new beta naught is very easy to calculate given this thing. So new beta zero, or the beta zero that we want, that's simply equal to y bar, which we have y bar minus the new beta one times y bar. Okay. And I'll just space it out to make it a little bit clear. But there you go. That's the beta one and the, the beta zero that we would want. So to adjust our params, it's as easy with dictionaries. We're just going to say params, params sub, and we need to make sure that we have like a, a, a unified notation for this kind of thing to write it like this. But we can say if we, if we make sure to write it just like this, I'll even copy it to be sure, we can set params sub beta zero, great, that already messed up. So beta zero, we'll set that equal to new beta zero. And then we'll set params, params sub new, sorry about that, sub beta one is equal to new beta one. And that is that function is done because that changes the dictionary that changes the values to what we want them to be. So there you go. Those are the main pieces are the prediction function, the mean squared error, and the, uh, the training of the parameters. And I'll see you in the next video when we do a little bit more with this kind of stuff.